Hi, welcome to Bearded Meeple. Today, we're going to take a look at a party game for two or more players, ages 10 plus, and it'll play anywhere between 15 minutes until, well, until one team has figured out all their clues. When the original game came out, it was a huge success, and I absolutely loved it. Well, today's version, many people have already played it, except they use album covers or different board game boxes or even Dixit cards. Myself, I'm a bit of a completist and I like having the actual product in hand. It's brought to us by Check Games Edition. It's Codename Pictures. Let's take a look at it. The key card will indicate to the Spy Master which picture cards from the grid belong with your team. The color on the outside edge indicates which team will go first. That team always has one more clue to solve than their opponent. The picture cards are all double-sided. In the upper left corner, there's an icon to indicate card orientation on the playing area. We have the agent and the bystander cards, as well as the assassin. Let's take a look at the gameplay. If you've played Codenames, in essence, you've already played Codenames pictures, because the rules are the same. I'll go over a few key points just in case though. Instead of words, we are associating imagery and the cards are laid in a four by five grid. The teams will sit on one side, the spy masters on the other. Only they can see the key card and know which images are tied together for the team. Through clues consisting of one word and a number, the spy master will try to get their teams to find certain cards. The number works in two ways. It tells the team how many cards they're trying to tie together with that clue, but as long as they're correct, the team gets one more guess than the number given. And while a team may choose to stop at any point on their turn, there are a couple of other ways to end your turn as well. By guessing an opponent's card, guessing an innocent bystander, or lose the game immediately if you guess the assassin card. The first team to successfully find all their clues will win. You can even combine both versions to alter gameplay. And that, my friends, is Codenames Pictures. I loved both versions of the game. And yes, in essence, this is just more of the same. However, having said that, some people, they're more comfortable with visual imagery than they are word association, so this version of the game will definitely appeal to them. Speaking of the images, I like the fact that it's not just a picture of a duck or a boat. They are multi-layered, which adds to great replayability. I loved it. I hope you get a chance to check it out. I'll talk to you again soon.